Hey everybody, Nun Superior here, and welcome to my weapon review for Payday 2 for the CAR-4. CAR-4 is another starting uh, assault rifle that you get, well, the third one unlocked, or second one unlocked, depending on how you look at it. Let's take a look at this thing, here are the stats for it. Now, this weapon, uh, a lot of people think is one of the best weapons in the game, and the reason is, you can mod the crap out of it. So you can get up to 10 mods for it, 10 mod slots that is. You can uh, mod it completely stealth, you can mod it completely loud, you can make it concealable. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. Look at all these crazy mods for it, you get everything. It's like a showroom of modification. Which means that you can buy this weapon pretty early on and uh, use it throughout uh, your entire payday career. Stability on this weapon, as you can see from the firing range test, is okay, it's kind of meh when it's stock. But when you get a bunch of stability mods on it, it can really get good. Um, I have mine uh, modded out for stealth with a suppressor on it, and it does excellent. It has a good ammo load. It has 150 rounds with a 23 damage, which uh, is pretty good, especially for a starting weapon. That's one of the better things about this. Let's take a look at the accuracy. The accuracy is a 12, which is like a lot of the assault rifles, which is uh, it's okay. It's, uh, it's good. As you can see, I got uh, some full auto shots on the uh, light bulb at the end of the one hallway, but not at the end of the other. This one took a little bit of work. There we go. So, yeah, I give it a man. But uh, most of the assault rifles are have that same stat, so it's not like that stands out. Let's take a look at the damage. The damage is 23, which is also okay. Not great. Uh, there's a lot that have more. There's some that have less. And that's, you can see I had some trouble getting that wooden door open. Uh, the metal door opened pretty well, though. Let's see what it looks like for stability. Well, stability, uh, again, I give it a meh. Let's see how it does on the uh, this course here. It does all right. You can see the rate of fire was kind of hard for it to keep up. Uh, normally, I like to be able to put uh, a burst down each little slot there, and I kind of had trouble keeping up on this with the rate of fire. But it does pretty well. Uh, you can see it's about the same as the AK. The starting AK, that is. Oh, it smashes light bulbs pretty well. Let's see how it does in jewelry store. I think uh, the deal with this weapon, uh, really, is that it's it's not that good when you first get it. It's it's okay. It's serviceable, as you can see. Most of the ratings I'm giving this are kind of in the meh range, um, but there's so many mods for it that you can throw money at it and it gets really really good and it becomes one of the best weapons in the game. A lot of people prefer it as their actual favorite weapon because it's got so many. Uh, Configurations. You can have one kitted out for stealth and one for being noisy, and it does really well. You can see I can get good headshots uh, at about that kind of medium range on this uh, on this map. Close up, and see how it does. And close up, it's stable enough, and you've got uh, 150 rounds, so you don't run out of ammo right away like you do on a lot of uh, the higher damage weapons. So overall, I think it's definitely worth a buy. Um, whether you want to throw a lot of um, odds onto it to make it as good as it can is up to you, and also depending on what kind of cards you get and what kind of mod drops you get. But I don't think you'd regret it. I don't regret getting mine. There's none superior. Don't forget to clicky, like, subscribe, and uh, share it on Twanker and uh, Books and Face. See ya!